Hello dear students, welcome back. This question is from gate 2013 exam and has for two marks. Just read the statement once, then I'll explain it. Question says, in a IPv4 datagram, the m bit is 0, the value of HLEN is 10, the value of total length is 400 and the fragment of set value is 300. The position of datagram, comma the sequence numbers of first and the last byte of payload respectively are. Okay, so they are saying these are the values of various fields of a datagram's header. Okay, just analyze them. Fragment offset is equal to 300. What is the scaling factor for fragment offset? It is 8. If value 300 is saved in fragment offset, this means the actual value will be 300 into 8. That is 2400. Similarly, for this field, header length, the scaling factor is 4. Okay. If a value 10 is saved in header length, the actual value will be 10 into scaling factor, which comes out to be 40. Okay. Why do we actually have a scaling factor? See, these two fields, they have less number of bits, but we actually want to save larger values. So while saving these values, we divide the actual value by scaling factor and while retrieving, we again multiply it by the scaling factor. Okay. If you want to know more detail, you can watch my theory lecture. Anyways, scaling factor for header length is 4 and fragment offset is 8. Now see, they are saying that m bit for this datagram or for this fragment is 0. What are all the conditions under which m bit will be 0? There are two possibilities. First thing is, this fragment or this datagram is not at all fragmented. It is present as the source has created it. Or second possibility is, it is the last fragment that belongs to some datagram. Okay. See, if this is the source and source has created this datagram, the next datagram is this one, the next datagram is this one and so on. Okay. There are some datagrams. For all of these datagrams, m will be 0. Okay. As well as fragment offset will also be 0. m means, are there more fragments which belong to this datagram? Now see, this datagram is not at all fragmented yet. The source created it like this. So there is no possibility that there will be more fragments which belong to this datagram only. So m bit is 0. See, how can there be more fragments if this is not fragmented at the first place? Okay. So for all of these, m is 0. And fragment offset means how many bytes of data are present in the fragments that were created before this one. This datagram is not at all fragmented. So there will be no fragments created before this one. Okay. Because it's not fragmented. So both of these will be 0. Okay. Now see m is 0 for all of them as well as the datagram that they are talking about in question, it also has m0. But fragment offset is non-zero. You can see fragment offset for the given datagram is 300. But for all of these, the fragment offset will also be 0. Okay. Now see, suppose some router receives this datagram. Source will send it to its own router. Then in path, suppose there is this router. It receives this datagram. Now this router may decide to fragment it. Okay. It may just create smaller parts of this original datagram. Now for this fragment, the first fragment, let us see what will be the m bit. Are there more fragments that belong to the same datagram? Yes, of course there are. One, two, three. There are three more fragments. So m bit will just say one. m bit will say yes, there are more fragments. So value of m will be one. For this one, are there more fragments? Yes, there are two more fragments that belong to the same datagram. So m is one. Parallelly m will be one for this one because still we have more fragments. But for this last fragment, the m bit will be zero because now there are no more fragments which belong to this datagram. Okay. And let us also analyze fragment offset. 
what will be the value of fragment offset for this one fragment offset means how much data is contained in the fragments that were created before this one so before this one no fragments are created so fragment offset will be zero okay for this one how much data is present in the fragments that are created before this one before this one only one fragment is created it will have some data right so it will be non zero for this fragment okay that means how much data is present in this one we will take that divide it by 8 which is the scaling factor we have already seen and save it in fragment offset for the next fragment parallelly for this fragment this much will be the fragment offset and just divide it by it so it will be non zero of course for last one starting from here till here this much will be the fragment offset this is also non zero okay non zero now see in question m bit is zero fragment offset is non zero that means surely this is the last fragment created upon fragmenting some larger datagram okay i'm repeating that the datagram that they're talking about in question is obtained upon fragmenting some larger datagram okay so they were asking what is the position let me just repeat it the position of datagram comma the sequence numbers of first and last byte so position is it is the last fragment okay i'm just noting down the answer here they were asking about three things first one of them is last fragment okay now we want to find out the sequence numbers of first and last byte present in this fragment so for this one we want to find the sequence number of first byte and the last byte now at transport layer in tcp also we have sequence numbers they are not talking about sequence number of tcp okay that is a completely different concept see there are two reasons i am saying this thing first thing is tcp will decide the first sequence number randomly okay so we don't know what is the first sequence number that is given to the first byte of tcp so how can we find its sequence number if this one is only at chosen at random okay second thing is tcp will not give any sequence number to its own header okay just listen it carefully if this is the segment at tcp at transport layer there will be a tcp header okay so this is a transport layer header tcp will give sequence numbers starting from here okay the first byte of data will be given a sequence number so on every byte of data will be given a sequence number but when this packet will be given to ip layer or the network layer this entire thing this entire thing will be treated as payload of ip ip will add its header okay this header is a ip header so it is ip i'm writing ih now see in question they are asking the sequence number of the first byte of payload ip payload starts from here okay and initially first few bytes will be for the transport layer or tcp layer header okay now actually sequence numbers the ones that are used at tcp layer only count data but in question they are asking us to count this header of tcp also okay that is the reason i am saying that sequence numbers of tcp are a different concept okay that is some other thing don't just consider that transport layer for this question in this question they are simply asking if you start counting the data from here that means if you start counting this first byte second byte third byte which number will be given to the first byte of last fragment and which number will be given to the last byte of last fragment that's it okay now let's just find out this answer also see fragment offset will tell you how much data is present in fragments created before this one how much is this 300 
into 8, that means 2400. I'm just drawing this diagram once again. So for the last fragment, if fragment offset is 2400, that means 2400 bytes of data is present before this fragment. So which number will be given to the first byte? Obviously it will be 2400. Now some students get confused. They say this will be 2401. That's wrong. 2400 bytes are present before this one. If this is byte number 0, then this one will be byte number 2399. And for the last fragment, first byte will be 2400. Okay. This byte is 2400. Okay. Now have a look. The last byte's number can be determined using total length. Total length for this fragment is 400. Okay out of which 40 bytes is header. So how much data is present? Data will be 400 minus 40. That means 360. Okay. So if this byte is byte number 2400 and total we have 360 bytes, the last byte will be numbered. This one will be numbered 2759. Okay. Some students say this will be 2760. No, it is incorrect. See. 360 bytes, they will be numbered from 0 to 359. Okay. So add 0 to this. This one will be numbered 2400 only. And the last one will be numbered 2759. You can just take a small example. See, if the first byte is numbered say 74, this is number 74. And you want to count 1, 2, 3, 4. You want to count 4th byte. That means what will be the number of this byte. So you won't simply add 4 to it. You will add 4 minus 1. See, 74, 75, 76, 77. Okay. Now, if you simply thought that there are 4 bytes and add 4 to it, you will get 78. But actually it is 77. 4 minus 1 is added. Okay. Parallelly, 360 minus 1 has to be added for the last byte. Okay. Now, I like to explain few more things. If you have understood this question, then it's okay. You can skip that part. Anyways, I'm going to explain it. See, whenever some router is going to fragment a packet, suppose this is the datagram received by router. First thing that router is going to do, router is going to remove the IP header. Okay. This is the IP header. It will be removed. So router will just separate the header. Okay, router will not delete it because it is required uh, while fragmenting also. Now fragmentation will be done for the data. Okay. In question also, they were asking about data only. All of these fragments, they don't contain a header as of now. After breaking them into smaller parts, header will be added separately. Okay. Now this is only data data that to for IP layer. Okay. There may be some header of TCP inside this data inside some fragment. Okay. We don't care about uh, TCP for this question. Okay. Now see fragment offset also tells us how much data is present. That means fragment offset is also not going to consider any headers. We also don't want any headers. Okay. In question they were asking about payload only. That means this number 24 will tell you how many bytes are present in this one plus this one plus this one. Okay. Because 24 is the fragment offset for last one. So in all of these three fragments combinedly there are 2400 bytes of data. Okay. So this one will have first byte as 2400. Last byte number will be this one. Okay. And uh, now after doing all of this stuff, Headers will be added on all of these. Okay. So headers are added after just calculating this stuff. Okay. In header, fragment offset, sorry, in fragment offset, headers are not considered. Fragment offset is only about how much data, actual data or payload is present in 
the fragment created before this one. Okay. Okay. So I know I might be annoying some of you, but if you have understood the question, just skip the video. Anyways, I'll explain this point once again for my satisfaction. See, when the router will create these smaller fragments, header will be added on all of them. Suppose this first fragment is this one. Okay. This is the first fragment. On this fragment, a header will be added. Okay. IP header. Suppose this is the second fragment. This one will also have a header. Then this third fragment we have it here. A header will be added on this also. Okay. And on last fragment also router is going to add a header. Okay. This header will be used to create all of these headers. That is the reason we haven't deleted this one. Okay. Now see. Fragment offset for this one is calculated as 2400. Fragment offset is equal to 2400 means starting from here only this data plus this data don't take headers plus this data. This is 2400. Okay. That means there are total 2400 bytes. The first one will be numbered 0. Last one will be numbered. This one will be numbered 2399. So this byte. Okay. This first byte. Okay. Except for the header. It will be numbered 2399 plus 1 because it is just next byte. So it will be byte number 2400 only. Okay. Now see. This byte is 2400. Okay. How many total number of bytes are there in this? That will be total length of this minus the header length. Total length is 400 minus header is of 40 bytes. So 360. That means we have total 360 bytes of data except header. Okay. I'm not counting this header except header. If there are 360 bytes, obviously the last one will be 2400 plus 360 minus one. So answers are last fragment comma 2400 comma 2759. So the option which says these three things is correct one. Okay.